Hello, N4HNH here. Um, thought I'd try to shoot a video as I do this. I've already done one strap. I'm replacing the sternum straps on my Osprey uh, Kestrel 48 backpack that I use for summits on the air hiking. So, um, thought I would stop here and, and, and just shoot a video to show how I did the other side. Um, I'm taking some candle wax from a tea candle, don't tell my wife. And um, I've been just scraping it and embedding it into this, uh, this little tube here that's sewn inside the fabric to make it a little bit more uh, slick, you know? Because it's very difficult to get this uh, this piece, let me show you. So you've got this um, this piece right here, and look at that. It's got to uh, let me get that into the camera there. You see, it's got that little slot in it that fits over this uh, tube. Tube. There's a plastic tube sewn inside here, and getting that thing on is uh, a it's just very, very difficult. So I've got one of them done. In fact, only one of, of my straps broke and Osprey sent me for free uh, new straps. Now, the strange thing is they sent me black even though my backpack is a greenish. This side, normally, this here where the whistle is was on the right side on my, on my old strap. Well, on the new strap, it's gotta go on the left side because see where the whistle is here? We blow into the whistle. So it's on the uh, opposite side. So I've got to go ahead and replace both halves anyway. So e even though there was nothing wrong with this half. Now I've, I've got that uh, slickened with the, um, with the wax. And I'm going to see if I can get it on first without having to smash the plastic. Osprey actually told me to take pliers and smash this plastic right here on the end. So it tapers down and then you can get it started. And I may have to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and try it first without smashing the plastic down. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take this, uh, this piece here and the wax. I'm gonna put it into the wax too and get some wax on it, see, on the insides of it. So I'm just trying to make it as smooth as possible, put a little, uh, you know, using the wax as a type of lubricant and see if I can get it started here. The, uh, <laughs> this is in the way, this uh, piece here for the trekking pole. Okay, I may have to go ahead and do the uh, smash it thing. So I've got, I've got some pliers here, some uh, vice grips, <laughs> and I'm going to uh, smash the end of this plastic piece with the vice grip. And this is what the, uh, the fellow I talked to at Osprey told me to do. The wax was kind of something I came up with because it was getting, it was almost impossible to get it started on the other side. So I thought, well, just Put a little wax and see if that'll help and it sure did it still took some patience and some strength so all right just smashing down that plastic tube in there because i mean i'm not going to put the strap back down this low anyway so it it won't matter that i've smashed these now um one of the things you want to make sure you do, though, is always when you're putting it on, pay attention to the angle. See the angle, how this is? Look at that. Um, there's a, if you look at the strap perfectly straight, there's an angle to it there. But you can tell just by making sure that you've got the whistle part up, okay? So let's try this again now with that smash down some.
It's going to take some more action from the vice grips. again. I'm also rocking it back and forth a little bit. Hate to do this to the fabric, but this is uh, how Osprey said to do it. And the guy even warned me uh, over the phone that that this was difficult to do, and he wasn't kidding. Okay. Okay, after some more smashing with the vice grips and a little bit more wax, I got it started. And now it's just, as they say, put a little English on it, right? Uh, oh, there's my kitty. And she's upset about something. Yeah, okay. I'm not paying attention to her. I'm working on this backpack is the problem. That's Miss Poe. Poet, we, we call her Miss Poe. Okay, let's see here. Just have to keep working with it till it starts moving. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, Osprey, you should come up with a better way to do this. I'd like to see how they do this at the factory. Okay, I gotta get it up here even with the other side. Well, it's definitely on and it's tight. Okay, I've gone a little too far. Yes, Poey, Miss Poe. All right, let's see. I think that's about right. Let me uh, put the other side on it. Yep, back down just a little bit. There we go. So that's how you do it. Um, so you'll... Like I said, you'll smash down this part with the pliers, maybe take some wax, put that in there with your finger um, to get it worked into the fabric. Smashing down with the pliers helps you start that and then it just works its way up. So hopefully that'll help someone else out that's got to uh, replace a sternum strap, which is what this is called. I don't know why Osprey sent me a black one even though I gave them not only a photo, but the, um, the color of the backpack literally from its own description so for whatever reason they sent me a black one and that'll be okay there's some other black trim on it too okay here it is completed um let's see if i can get the phone out of the video a little bit there so let me uh yeah i remember now exactly how the sternum strap got broken it was uh i had already hooked the sternum straps up so warning how to do this, and I should have known better. I already had the sternum straps hooked, and then I cinched it up here. You know how they tell you to lean over like you're a skier, and then you give these a yank on each side to tighten up the shoulder strap? 
Well, I did that while I had the sternum strap already hooked. And if you do that and the sternum strap's already a little tight, it'll pull on these things and break them. So that's what happened. Just avoid that. So what you want to do is not have this connected when you're cinching these up on each side. Like I said, you know, the thing where you lean over like a skier and you pull this, then you hook these up and see if I can do this one handed. There we go. Then you hook these up and pull that, you know, not too tight, but enough. And uh, so I've already got my magnet reinstalled for my uh, Osprey water tube here to hold it up. And then uh, this is just a little something I do. This is a uh, my backup compass right here, my backup compass. And uh, here, I'll point the phone down and let you see it. So I have that mounted to the strap through the little end there. Let me see if I can get that, see? And um, I mean, I carry, I got a phone and, you know, phone with a GPS too, but this is a backup compass. Now, the one thing you have to be aware of with this backup compass is don't really let it get too close to that magnet. So I'll keep the magnet over this way because if it gets close to the magnet, the magnet will throw off uh, the readings of that uh, compass. Okay, so there's the completed project. New sternum strap on an Osprey Kestrel 48 uh, backpack. All right, 73 from N4 H&H. &H. And again, I want to thank my Patreons for helping keep the channel alive. Um, if you want to help out with a five, ten, or twenty dollar a month donation, uh, go to patreon.com slash n4hnh. That's www.patreon.com slash n4hnh. Thanks a lot, and I hope uh, you found the video helpful.